Can I come see her? So remember that arm that Saparna was showing you and how small it looked in there? Mm -hmm. There's a reason Saparna said it was the only time it's ever looked small. The arm is huge. Oh wow, so if it was like Yeah, it was there. all folded up before, but now you see it out and on a rock. Oh, so, so can it pick it up? Or, or like No, we're not gonna pick up rocks. So this is actually the drill bit. So the <laughs> Julie takes starts the big testing. giant arm. <laughs> <laughs> noses. And it's got lots of noses because it's got these three guys here that we can put the dust into. This is two different instruments, one there and one there. And those now. Yep. <laughs> and then um even and then you've got these here well, and those over there. And those take color pictures, but now from what? <laughs> yeah. oh, that's good. Doing gallery is like, hey, how come she gets to come do this? Isn't this a lot better from up there? <laughs> and all of the equipment that you see here is either pieces of the spacecraft side and uh, the structure. And this is what flies the rover down to the surface as we land. Or, or something that it sits on, all of these stands and these big... The rover fits up under there. So as you can imagine, or as you can see, there are three little triangular points that come down there. That's where the interface to the rover is. And that's, uh, that's where the rover hangs on. And the rover is all stowed up safely underneath the descent stage. It's, it's the lifeblood of the, the rover that keeps it working on the surface of Mars. But you see it's sitting on the, the transporter that actually transports the entire spacecraft. So once we assemble everything, we put it together on this transporter. But I'm glad you could come here today. It's a true pleasure. And, uh, and congratulations again on giving this rover a great name. Thank you. To me, curiosity is just really motivating and it makes you want to learn new things. And it's, I think it's really, it's a really good name for, for, sci for space exploration and science because it's sort of the beginning of learning. I'm gonna feel like really honored that something well, my name is going to be somewhere besides Earth. And it's really cool because I never thought I would get anywhere close to anywhere besides Earth. Um, I think it's, it's a really big sense of accomplishment for me. And just to know that I get to come here and meet all these um, great people just because I sat down and put my thoughts on paper and then I mailed it and it's really cool. Oh, Claire is great. I mean, what a cool kid. She's here, she's so interested in everything that's going on. She asks the most intelligent questions about all the stuff we're showing her and it's, it's amazing because we've been just piling information on her. You know, we drag her from one lab to another. Here's a robotic arm. Here's a test bed for Spirit and Opportunity. Here's the mobility system. Here, hold the wheel. So <laughs> she's seen a lot of stuff, but she is just handling it so very well and she really seems to be absorbing everything that she's seeing today as well. Well, I was about Clara's age when I first got interested in aerospace engineering. 
and I was maybe a year or two older than her when I first got interested in robotics. So I think that my biggest goal would be just to show her all of these neat things that we get to do, you know, these career options that she has that maybe she wasn't considering before she had this opportunity.